One tactic that has come into play for largemouth bass the past decade has been the practice of swimming jigs. Now, as you might guess, with all the time the in-fisherman staff spends in the field in exploratory mode, well, yes, we do have a little bit of a different take on the process. There! Beautiful fish. Nice way to start today. The sun is rising. Beautiful, calm morning. A little bit of chill in the air, but not bad. And put him back real quick. And, you know, one of the most famous bass lures of all time, the rubber legged jig, really needs a plastic trailer to make it come alive. Um, you can fish it a lot of different ways, and you know, the way that I look at plastic trailers, I put them into three categories. You've got trailers that only push water for the most part, make your bait push water, they don't have a lot of vibration. Then you've got a big category of baits that add a lot of vibration in various ways, but not in the last category's way, which is if you add a swim bait body of some sort to the rubber legged jig, it'll actually make the jig swim and it's one of the most appealing things that there is to a largemouth bass and it's one of the over, well it is the overlooked category and we're going to talk about that as we move along here today. So we're started. Again, beautiful morning. Boy, they are chunky, pretty, and they're beautiful. Now, the really key aspect, boy, that one's in there pretty good. Is that pretty fish or what? Man, I'll put them back here a minute. First of all, there's two things here that is a little bit different than normal for most bass anglers. This is a bigger jig. It's actually a jig made for musky fishing, so it's a little bit longer, a little bit heavier. It's 5 eighths ounce, so it isn't heavy, heavy. But you notice that I've got a 5 inch swim bait body rigged flat on this, so it swims as it goes, so it's got a unique action. It's actually swimming. The whole jig is swimming as it's going through the water, and the tail is also thumping at the same time. So you've got the dual thing happening here with the uh, the appeal of the rubber-legged skirt, natural, all classic all-time bait for largemouth bass, along with the uh, swim bait action, is actually making this swim. All right, let's keep working here. Looks like a good one. Pretty one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Look at the size of that one. That's the kind of fish that you can actually expect to catch. That guy's gonna go five and a half, six pounds, which is a big bass in the North Country. See if I can get that out of there. Whew. Pretty. Aren't they nice? Beautiful. Now what I'd done here is I'd switched up swim bait styles. Um, you know, the, I was fishing with the flat back shad, which is, well, I'll show you the two, two swim baits that I'm going to talk about here uh, side by side in just a second. But this one is the Berkeley Havoc Grass Pig, and it's a very narrow swim bait. It's actually made for fishing heavy cover, but it works good like this because it also gives a swimming action to the jig, but it's much more subtle. And then, of course, the tail kicks too. And the advantage to this one is that it fishes a lot more precisely. You get less vibration going through the water, but when you kill it, this one swims on the way down, but the flat, the flat back shad does not. All right, here's the pig right there. See how subtle that movement is? Now, let me show you the flat back shad. So, you see, with the flat back shad, you got a lot more action. And again, the reason that you use that kind of action, not only is it a visual picture, but when the fish gets close, they can feel it with their lateral line, and that's what seals the deal on these swimming jigs like this. Come on. Nice one again. Oh, I want to get him here. Wow. They are solid, sturdy fish. Wow. Again, on the pig that time. See if we can get that out of there. There. On the pig again. Beautiful fish. 